Tony, thank you so much for spending time with me. Sure. Let me come into your beautiful home here in Long Beach. Uh, can we start at the beginning and just tell me a little bit about your childhood, growing up in Italy? No, you want to know my life, you yeah, mean? A little bit of your life. I'll tell you only from 1975 on, because I was an attorney in Italy. And uh, I gave me an attorney is much easier, by the way, to go to in Europe than here. It's not a uh, tremendous uh, licensing, very, very difficult. Yeah. However, I came here and I found I could not get a job. But in Italy, I had, uh, in Italy, like uh, European, not me only, everybody liked the American products of the uh, 30s, 40s, 50s, and they keep kept on re re rebranding them. When I say American product, I mean the, the great newspaper strips that a few guys know, not even here, no offense for nobody. Flash Gordon, The Fandom, Mandrake, X9, Tim Tyler's Luck, uh, King, King Royal Mount, so many, if I, Crazy Cat, you know, so many what that I cannot that? describe. I know, I know it's 80% because it was incredible. Was every day the newspaper were getting a strip during the week. Mm. The Sunday beautiful. I mean, I'm serious now. Sunday page in color was so beautiful that the kids were stealing and the, the fathers, the parents, they didn't care. <laughs> but the dailies were directed specifically to the adults because they were more um, pungent, more. Yeah more contemporary gangster or this science fiction number one was uh, was flash gordon okay i like it uh, so much but number one the flash gordon you you have to love for one thing because of alex raymond the artist who did that yes yes he was an incredibly talented yes. man i hope you understand my accent mm -hmm. incredible talent man then other guys came on the on the market of course like milton ganif with the terry and pirates and steve mm -hmm. canyon right. what else so many you, you know you i mean like, uh, they, prince you would talk uh, prince valley prince valley was so big yeah, that yeah, right. they made a movie too flash god they made a successful movie but flesh the um, prince valley that was pretty good with uh, with the other uh, kind of artist that was uh, was famous at that time i mean it was uh, the movie was not appealing 100%, but was, uh, in other words, not, not even came to Europe, but um, here was kind of partial success. The, I'm talking about Prince Valid by Al Foster. Yeah. Uh, probably the most paid, uh, the most successful uh, mm. cartoon, because they were calling, calling them with a diminishing name, they were calling uh, cartoonists, not mm. artists, mm. but he was good. Yeah. And then when uh, he started to decline, you know, like me, other guys, they tried to interpret his, uh, yeah. but I can be, give you the name, but I don't want to offend nobody, but I would not uh, be as good as uh, Raymond, I mean as Caniff. I know, Foster. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what do you want to know? So, uh, do, so as a child, you see in Italy, there's all these comics there, like you mentioned. Um, you mentioned the ones. Did you ever read like Hugo Pratt? Hugo Pratt belongs to another uh, generation, another okay. part of the speech that I was making. Hugo Pratt was an Italian that during the last, the last year he got started to be in Italy, he started to go up, okay, last few years of the war. Mm -hmm. After the war, there was nothing in Italy, it was a poor country, okay, mm -hmm. so he left for Argentina. Mm -hmm. In Argentina, he was fortunate, he worked for all the, because Argentina at that time was good, was rich, mm -hmm. had plenty of Italians, so the language was not a barrier for him, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, and other guys, they went with him. Mm. So belong to another sector. Uh, Hugo Pratt, you can identify with the, the European, actually European, mm -hmm. desire to deliver, to deliver an artistic thing other than a cartoons, okay? It was out of the, 
Right. Out of the the general lines of the Americans, it was different. It was European. Right. And then came after him came other guys. I don't uh, talk about the Italian scene of a comic because it would be another mess because Italians like to read the comics. European, they like to read the comics. It has been very successful. American invented them. Invented the balloon. Invented the strip. Mm -hmm. In the continuity, you know what I mean? Right. One, two, three, the Friday, Saturday, stop. Sunday, beautiful resume of everything. Right. America. Right. So Italians and you know, French in general, they start uh, uh, minor, uh, minor sides of the Spain. Do they start to do Yugo Brat? Mm -hmm. Leone Frollo. Milo Manara. Serpieri, Serpieri was in my house in, uh, when I was living in Orange County. So it was different because this guy, they were uh, more um, on the culture side, okay? They were, uh, you follow me or not? Yeah, of course. Tell, tell us the, these theory. guys basically, uh, they were more educated, no offense. They were coming from a fine art fine school. Art. He said the year, there were some, uh, there was a fraction, there was a, they're different, but however, the American success success of the strips is great. Mm. They learn the, from copying each other, I can tell you. And then what the minor uh, school that were organized by these guys uh, of success, you know what I mean? How did you come to the United States? Why did you come? Why did you come here? Why I came here? I came here for family reasons, oh, okay. not for uh, the st not for business because yeah. I was doing well. In, I when I was not doing well, but I was very decent in Italy. Then I myself, my personality, even now that I'm all, an old man, but I see myself as a person that uh, yeah, I'm a pusher. You know what I mean? So in other words, uh, I won't do things. I won't be successful to eat very modestly not to get rich mm -hmm. so i came here and i found that america was living a transitory period i felt immediately no. and the comics uh, convention came a little bit after the european convention mm. and uh, most of them was uh, principal especially san diego convention was an immediate uh, success were you there at the, those i was years? i was one star there oh wow so yeah you... from uh, 75 through the end of the 80s uh, beginning uh, then was no good anymore because is hotel, because right? this is a business now we talk business yeah. and uh, interest so i know i know what they know i don't know everything but basically San Diego convention switched from the house of the comics to 75 percent the house of of uh, movies Hollywood okay so so uh, the guys they go there they struggle they do well but they are not too many you know what I mean mm -hmm. they go there I know people they go there they pay a fortune to have a table or a booth wherever it is right and so how has how has that so I I've seen you many times at the convention in San Diego this year I did not see you there is that no, but uh, yeah, many years I don't yeah, go there. Many, many years, not this many year. I don't right. know. Uh, also, possible. as a matter of principle, because you are young, you don't know. But kind of 10 years ago, one of the major comic book art, comic book dealer, yeah. not uh, my books, comic books, American comic books, they made a speech on the early times. Mm. You should find some research. In, uh, his name is. Um, is my life comics in Colorado. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that. So basically, he made a speech. Said we are not going to San Diego anymore. Paying oh. ten thousand dollars for nothing, uh, roughly speaking. Right, you know, right, right. I I I hope right. I'm not not to emphasize too much. The, yeah. Okay. And so, so I don't I don't know. So there are multiple causes. The main cause cause. How do you say in cause? Yeah. The main reason why San Diego switched mm -hmm. from the comics and then in minor way for newspaper strips because different comics and newspaper strips, right? Yeah. Basically they switched because of the American 
impulse to change, to create, to generate a different money from nothing. You know, very, mm. very American are incredible for business. Like the English, you know, they copy from the English. So basically, that's the story. Any business here can change after five years, you know. Mm -hmm. All this electronic, we don't know. Right. But uh, Facebook for <laughs> successful, right? So, so what happened is there's been a switch between comics focused convention to San Diego kind of moving into the more Hollywood. Mile High Comics had this article. He My, they start a bad, bad plant. They, they don't go oh, but, anymore. But yeah, bad plant bad plant was right? even bigger yeah. than me and yeah. bigger than uh, they might like on me. But bad yeah. plant was but a I'm gentleman him. that doesn't have any idea. A l very library called uh, classic but technically good. Yeah. But he doesn't go anymore. He had the same loss I had. Because all of a sudden, the no, the price were the same. The problem is that. Uh, the price of, uh, of a boot for us was like the price uh, of a boot for uh, Disneyland, you know, the mm -hmm. Walt Disney, you know what I mean? So we were considered the same price. No, right. I don't understand the policy. Right. I, sh I understand that uh, should there have been two different rooms, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Right. Uh, just because we created the business, you know. Yeah. However, no comments, each one does his own business, right? How did you... Let's talk about how you got into selling comic books. I'm sorry, the can you repeat again? How did you get into selling comic books? When did you start selling I don't, books? I don't do... Uh, you should... Uh, no offense, you should at least... In Italy, I was doing that. You were doing that? Anyway. I was an authority. I was an, uh, an employee of an insurance company. And then I was going to the little convention in Italy. Oh, oh. so, so fun, you know. And they all, the, the, the merchandise there on the tables, just like here, you know were all American strips, oh, wow. no comic books. Yeah, then, then, then came comic books in, in Europe, came comic right. books, Japanese comics, all yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Deviation, like, uh, like here, you know, a similar yeah. phenomenon. Except here is so fast that I could not tell you everything, you know, I mean, it needs books and books. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Pacific Comics. Which yeah. one? Pacific Comics. Pacific, Pacific Comics. Pacific Comics, okay. okay. So tell me about Pacifico. Okay, okay. Very, very easy because there is confusion, you know. First of all, I was uh, Pacific Comics and there was in San Diego a little company that I know became very big. It's called the Pacific Comics too. But I was before them. Why? Okay. Because the guy that was Pacific Comics was a guy in uh, Papiti. And this guy sent me comics, everything. I understood because I'm a, we all are smart that you want something else. In fact, he came here with the son, and uh, since I was able to get a father for him because he was he was single father, you know what I mean? He, he didn't want to keep the boy there in Papiti. I don't know. He's a, I helped him a lot, but he's a Pacific Home. so he gave me permission to print with the acquisition of, of uh, copyrights that he was getting periodically. He gave uh, this, uh, this permission even to some guys in Italy. So, you know, so he was a very nice guy, basically. He was one of the beginning. Mm -hmm. But uh, he, uh, really frankly, in Italy, they did the job that he wouldn't believe. The comics in Sunday page, because the rich guys, in North Italy, were paying because they loved American strips, you know. They even know the, the fun of this band, the, the desire of having, having uh, those guys, uh, the face of Flash Gordon, of Manda Mandre, the action, because uh, now I'm, uh, I'm a fanatic or I am, uh, I am uh, how do you say, a little bit uh, nasty, because uh, American created a beautiful, Art, a beautiful art that is cartoonist. And all these guys that they were uh, yellow kid, you know. So you have to read a little bit something, I would say, you know, about the born now, the born now. Yeah. In America first. Of course, there are two, two currents, right, in America. It was before, was uh, was more sophisticated. Now it's generally, it's, uh, 
is a little bit uh, banal, uh, was stupid, a little bit. Uh, but before they were doing either adventure or they were doing um, uh, intellectual comics like Crazy Cat, you know. Mm -hmm. Beautiful things they were doing in this country. Beautiful. Too bad now, now. If you see the Sunday page mm -hmm. yeah, of Los Angeles, I mean, you can say, what is this stuff? Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you know? yeah. No comparison with the past. And they don't understand. Yeah. You never try to talk to them about something specific about the past or the, the future. They don't know. They, they know the buck only, the money only. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Uh, where do you get your merchandise? So right now, when I saw you in Long Beach, you had the magazine, you had all these great books. Well, uh, uh, I got merchandise from some clubs in Italy, authorized by the guy in uh, in Pabidi, that they start to bring a few, a few, I'm saying, editions in, in English. Mm. So I, I imported them, okay. and I sold them. It was very hard because people were... Uh, were uh, a little reactive, they didn't want to pay $10. At that right. time, $10 was a lot of money yeah. uh, in the 70s, you know. Yeah. So basically, uh, I sat like, then I printed myself something also with permission, like Dick Tracy, I did Dick Tracy, very, oh. uh, yeah, I, uh, and then uh, Prince Valen I printed. Uh, oh, did you? Okay. I did, yeah. So right now, at Long Beach, when I saw you just, just a couple weeks ago, um, do you need to like, do you make a call to someone in Italy to have them ship you more books or do you make a trip out there? No, I'm reducing uh, my uh, line of customer because they, they dropped me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Why? Because of internet. Mm -hmm. Because they can buy all the books that I was selling before I was getting from the American uh, publisher, especially IDW. I was getting them, they were available on Amazon um, with discount and not postage, so they, I could not compete with them. Mm. The business was, uh, was finished for me, almost. Mm. I, I, I keep on surviving because of my ability, but either my name or the knowledge of the past, what we did, because we had other guys like me, what we did is unknown. Why? Because America don't, don't don't save the past. I don't know what is the yeah. phenomenon here. The yeah. Also, new races uh, come here. They don't know the past. You know all these yeah. uh, these uh, guys uh, south of border or overseas. They don't know the past. The American past was beautiful, and then it changed also. Yeah. I well, don't. I don't know if you understood everything. I do understand. And so, Tony, I have this YouTube channel, and I'm interviewing you because I love the past and I love comics. So I want to learn from you and the people who watch this want to learn from you. What was it like? What was those people like? Uh, the country of new people, they came from Europe and they all were smart and hard worker and with the talent. In New York, there were people with great talent. Many were Jewish, by the way. Yeah. Uh, with the great talent, and they did this job. Not Latin, Italian they did in Italy, but uh, basically the entire continent mm -hmm. is based on the American production, uh, the interest of, uh, you go to Peru, mm -hmm. or you go to another area, Chile, okay? Mm -hmm. They know American comics of the past, yeah. more than American here. Yeah. I'm um, sorry, that's the way it goes. Yeah. You mentioned before Alex Tove. Could you tell me how you met him and maybe the story? Which about one? Alex Tove. Can you tell me? Alex Tove was a gentleman him? living in North Hollywood. He was the, uh, he was a little upset because he, he never got his own strip, mm. daily strip. I mean, he was va valiant, very good. He was doing a style, uh, kind of, uh, of Milton Ganif, but I like even better. You know, uh, and he did minor things like Bravo. You yes, know, Bravo. Bravo for yes, adventure, yeah, and uh, I met him. He was a person that was by himself, a little lonely. You know, I cooked for him. He didn't like get upset. <laughs> <laughs> he was a uh, yet a timber. Yeah. And then I met Milton Kanif. Tell me about that. Tell me what was Milton Kanif was a rich man that mm -hmm. became rich with the dairy buyers. 
my, my, I, I believe my intuition, my nose, more, more with uh, Steve Canyon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, because no. Steve Canyon was was was, was reflecting the uh, the nation nationalism. Mm -hmm. He was blondy and uh, was very white. The girls were his girl were blonde, uh, very American. What I mean, and then they were describing other races, always like ridiculous, especially the Asian. You know. Yeah. Did you ever meet uh, Wally Wood? Oh, Wally Wood, I saw only one time. Oh, okay. Uh, they had. I am myself. You have to excuse me if I talk about myself. I have a lot of. Uh, human respect and uh, uh, emotions and sentiments you know he was uh, was down down uh, in grade he came one he came to i spoke to him he came one day in san diego many years ago because they introduced to me the, because that guy was very good artist but yeah. uh, you know there was some problem uh, yeah, if, uh, i don't want to talk against him right. because uh, we all are in trouble in the life yes right so basically, I met and it was I met all of these guys, all of them. Yeah. Last man, he was a real gentleman. He died of cancer. Yeah. What about such a, a great gentleman? He loved me. Uh, tell me, if you were mentioning that you you knew uh, some, you met someone in San Diego, Serpio, uh, Serpio, what's his name? Uh, who did Druna? Yeah. The artist who did Druna. Uh, the name of the guy that is drew not the name is very popular by the way is Serpieri. Serpieri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spelling is like would be a Spani uh, spelling in, in in Spanish. You want me to write down the word? Oh, S E R P I E R I. Yeah, okay. did you, did now you he you was know? doing a f f f sexual f science fiction very personal mm. very erotic very erotic mm. i liked him i was st strong eh? mm -hmm. then what manara uh, manara sophisticated erotic is very sophisticated but you don't get horny on that to manara mm -hmm. but you see beautiful ladies in a perfect form and everything mm -hmm. and then frollo frollo was doing more uh, mm -hmm. the only frollo was doing more of uh, the the girls are more realistic yeah mm -hmm. did you meet uh, guido uh Kripa? no never mm -hmm. guido grebex uh, is an in intellectual eh? oh. he is not does belong to this generation american yeah. or italian intellectual no. he oh. was he was a strange intellectual yeah with all those valentina for whom likes yeah, are we okay you know what I mean I, I myself I found a little bit but he was so su successful yeah. because he was uh, he did Valentino okay mm -hmm. but yeah. basically he was doing co covers for books oh, well. a lot of covers mm. and then uh, movies everything you know mm -hmm. um, did you know Mobius Mobius, I know very well. I had a shop in uh, Second Street here, close to where I live. You know. uh -huh. He came. Oh, did he? He came here. Came to the shop together with the wife. I myself, to tell you frankly, was 84, 85. I was not very well prepared uh, to the business. Uh -huh. So basically, not too many customers came, but he was very, very friendly, very. Yeah. Because again, people uh, people in this country now they start to like comic books only. They didn't want the Mobius or other thing. Yeah, he was working on movies, right? He was doing Alien. And yeah, was, I, you know, all these guys made the movies, you know. And then yeah. remember the cartoonists of the uh, before the forties, uh, before the fifty, they all had the honor of having a, a, having a movie for them. The movies uh, they end up in um, in DVD then you know what I mean so mm -hmm. but uh, there are all these guys Terry and Byers, Dim Tyler, Flash Short, all the on DVD mm -hmm. available. Well, why didn't the Italian Manjali, Manjali but why didn't the Italian filmmakers like Fellini use some of the local comic book artist talent? Like why didn't did Fellini work with Manera and Topi and those 
artists, you know? Okay, Manara did some interpretation of, uh, of stories by Fellini. Mm. Uh, okay. And uh, and the women uh, he was he, Manaro was inspired by Fellini, okay? Oh, okay. Mm. okay. But Fellini had not a clear idea. <laughs> express my opinion, not a clear idea of what was uh, reality. Mm. He liked the uh, like um, my, he movies. His, his movies were fantastic. There was a movie that uh, never came here uh, called uh, I Vite Alone. The I love it. The, ah, you saw that? Yes, of course. Let me do That's it. the reality of the provincial area of Italy. Yeah, I love it. It's Fantastic, great. eh? Yeah. Ah, you know that movie? I do, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a great movie. Yeah, and then the other movie, Fellini was good. Uh, Fellini understood that um, he was famous overseas. Yeah. Italians were a uh, little bit against, in the sense that uh, mm. were sick and tired of uh, intellectuality you mm -hmm. know they want something fun mm -hmm. so he started to make a movie that um, would be like tourism you know auto and mezzo mm -hmm. and then uh, then they came here he was very successful uh did you know anything about sergio leone Mar marconi the kind of westerns why was why was why is italian I feel like the Europe is fascinated with the American West, the Cowboys. And well, Indians. America, they, you have to know no, 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 one thing that you don't have the perception or some American nationalists, they have this perception. America is, is a super country mm. in the sense that uh, everything that can be invented, especially in the, in the field of the business, has been has been invented by the American. Mm. They invented the marketing, they invented how to make money. They, mm. they are uh, rich, very rich, because there are real people that we... <laughs> and then uh, always uh, always um, imply compromise with the wars, you know I mean? Which is typical of the big uh, superior. The, the life uh, here is better than any life in any country, even in Europe. With the difference get that in Europe, they enjoy themselves. Here is uh, ignorance, uh, the pretty, uh, mm. only money, you know? mm. but they don't want to talk too much. Right. Uh, because uh, again, there is, uh, there is respect for America for what they did. Mm -hmm. What is happening now politically doesn't is not our business, right? You don't want to talk about it. It's too complicated. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you like those Italian? Did you like those Italian f films, the the Sergio Leone films, the westerns? Italian yeah. Westerns? Oh yeah, yeah. Like well, uh, let me tell you, this is okay. my uh, strange experience. I was with friends, and uh, at that time there were elegant movies in the city of Naples. Elegant. The cine theater, you know, very, very nice. Now, no more. Okay, so what do we do? Let's go to see this uh, movie of uh, Sergio Leone about uh, Far West. Mm -hmm. And we were surprised because we were sure that it was, uh, was a joke, <laughs> it was nothing serious. Right. Then we got used to, you know. Yeah. What was uh, fantastic was the, the music. Oh yeah, the but the stories were ridiculous. Morricone, right? Morricone, yeah. yeah. Ennio Morricone. But the stories were ridiculous. You know, I mean, the clean this suit. I never liked that yeah, kind. Yeah, yeah. Too much, uh, yeah. too much a statue. <laughs> Very serious, the yeah, guy. Yeah. Really. So uh, basically, uh, the, those, those uh, spaghetti western they yeah. never were su yeah. su su successful among Italians. But they then, like anything else then became more uh, accepted, more and more, mm. by the, the, the music, you know. There's also in the 70s a lot of Italian horror films, like uh, Dario Argento. Dario Argento, I'm not very really knowledgeable that? of yes, that stuff. Right. He's based on, uh, on uh, mystery and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. horror, horror, yeah. yeah. You, are you familiar with that? Yeah, I saw one movie, but I don't remember no. too much, no. Yeah. But he acquired an enormous uh, success. Yeah. I don't know, overseas do, not only yeah. in Italy. Yeah. Mm. Well, I find that fascinating that 
here in the states we love Italian comics. Yeah, see, that's that's uh, typical. Here, like, you in the in the in Italy they love the Americans. You well, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Let me let me tell you a joke. You will understand. We lost the war. We were poor. When the American came, we were able to eat mm. food, you know. And then the, the um, GI, the soldier, they brought this magazine with this uh, beautiful strip. <laughs> but then I met European like because it's something that they would like to be. And American, they don't want to admit, but they would like to, to be European too. But they will never admit. Yeah. For instance, the food, you know. Oh, food is a religion in Europe. People yeah. eat correctly, okay? <laughs> Here right. you go with a sandwich that is greasy. You know, okay. <laughs> so basically, no, no good and no bad. The two countries are the same thing because European came here, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. European, the American are European. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got uh, a phenomenon here that didn't happen in Mexico because the Spaniards didn't promote any culture there. Uh, going back to comics, one of my favorite artists is Sergio Topi. Did you ever meet Sergio uh, You will notice, uh, I told you there is a difference between American comics, newspaper tra translated in foreign language, uh -huh. and then these three guys, the big guys from me. You won't talk about the three guys uh, yeah. that I like wrote. Yeah. Uh, I like all of them, frankly, but I, I was never inspired and I was young. I never got uh, inspired sexually or other thing. I, I thought it was, uh, as European, you know what I mean? Uh, very skeptical about, because we knew that it was, uh, but in Manare, uh, Manare big, uh, yeah. for all, the, all three get very big. Yeah. Hugo Brat Soso, um, uh, was uh, Serpieri Soso, I mean successful. Uh, and right. then, uh, but Manara is the star of the star. <laughs> is he more popular, is Manara more popular than Mobius? Here, uh, I, I don't know, frankly. Yeah. Frankly, that uh, will tell you something that we indirectly can be an answer for whoever will watch this, uh, this, uh, this show now. Basically, uh, nobody likes that. They are uh, they are too deep. They are too, too profound. Too, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. People want the distraction. Right. They want to have fun. Right. They want to have fun. They don't want to think. Okay. Yeah. Now these originals. Try not to take it. Okay. These originals. That's a Silver Canyon with the Scanif dedication to wow. me. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. This is Mandrake. Mandrake. Who did this? Who, who's the artist for this? Uh, Lee Falk. Lee Falk and uh, Clarence Gray. Very nice, very nice. Wow. And then that's one of my favorite strip, probably. Mergraf X9. X9. I don't know that. Wow. Who did this? Who did that, little, that art over there? That one is a uh, guy that uh, dedicated to me, you know, yeah, many years ago in San Diego. That's amazing, that's beautiful. There are some, uh, uh, some printing homes that they did something like uh, Catalan communication in New York. But they never was uh, successful, you know why? Because I believe that these big artists they were known only to a group of cartoonists here. They were modified, getting better, so they were buying those books, admiring those books. But the general public, to tell you frankly, just because in this country, intellectual that is not the best thing, you know what I mean? It's not considered better. So they never accept too much. They accept a little bit. Hugo Pratt, Serpieri, Manara, I don't know. And then there was uh, so much, especially in some of them, Serpieri, there was so much erotism that I don't know if they could uh, be accepted in a family. Mm. I had a little shop here on Neighbors. Right. I put one book only. 
a guy came yelling at me in the store. Said, we don't want that this becomes like Hollywood Boulevard. They said, I said, I yeah, no, will never become. I said, don't worry. <laughs> but you have to be afraid because then they go to the police. Right. They report things that are not true, you know, right. because the fanatic, they... So basically, they say, this fiction that uh, Superman is okay, but other things may be not accepted. Oh, all the Marvel comics, uh, and, and no, no, no sex. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, but accept 100%. You know, yeah. Disneyland, Disneyland to call the Marvel, you know. Right. So I don't know that. I think it's a cultural fact that, that they never became as big. In fact, they were made in form of books here too, but I don't know. Yeah. If it's yeah. big, you know, I have my doubt. I have my doubt. I think culturally, you're, I think you're completely correct. I think culturally, they just weren't able to be appreciated by Americans. Um, in in Japan, they do appreciate it because their culture is different, right? There, but, they can appreciate uh, it. Uh, uh, that's story. why. That's why the entire planet, and then both America different. Okay, that's the way. I see, I see that the most successful. Uh, country in the world is this in the, during the years, the centuries, mm -hmm. but it's different from the rest because here there are rules that there are not in any other rule in any other country. Facility of starting a business here, for example, so easy, you know. Yeah. In other country, no. Yeah. There are so many things, you know. So uh, I don't want to talk uh, yeah. because there is good and bad in every situation. <laughs> <laughs> so. Right. So be respectful of your time, and I want to ask one last question. One, one last question. What is a message you would like to give to the world? Let's not talk about comments. Let's talk about the life, la vida, la vida dulce. So uh, la, be a nice people? person. Be a nice person. If it's this religious, moderately, of course, non fanatic, but be a nice person. Don't be uh, selfish. And don't think only at money. Because there are more beautiful things, and the love of, uh, of a lady, for instance, uh, is better than one million. You know? <laughs> so I don't know, I have my ideas that uh, you have to be nice with yourself. Um, but that's maturity, you know. Young people don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Maturity, when you got uh, 45, you know, you understand that you have to be nice, it would be better for you. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you so much. My for pleasure.